What's up, family? Welcome back to another video. My name is Derica. For anyone who is new here, hi, hello, welcome. Uh, today, we are going to get into these Starbucks inspired water globe tumblers. So, let's get right into the video. I've been trying to make my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big payout. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. Now these models wait on me for gay. Baby, tell me why your heart's so cold. Can't you say? Can't wait, I ain't got all day now. Time is money, watch my face, don't show it, change me now. I ain't got nothing to say, but just hit me out. Cause it seems that you like this. Need we're going to start by removing the sticker from the bottom of the tumbler. We're going to use these drill bits. I use the one in the middle um, to drill the hole first. And then I take the bigger one to make the hole slightly bigger. You also want to make sure that when you're drilling through the cup, you take your time because you do not want to bust through the second layer. We only need that first layer. So take your time. So baby, can we walk it out? Now I'm walking, walking, walking. Wait a minute, walking, walking, walk. Let me see you now. Walking, walking, walking. Wait a minute, walking, walking, walking. Walk, walk, I've been trying to make now. my wallet fold all day. Cashing in my dreams, big pay out. Underneath my money tree, big shade out. Now we're going to take your glitter of choice. And I pour mine into a small mixing cup uh, to mix it together. That way I can see if I need more of a certain glitter, um, which I did. I eventually poured more of the silver. Uh, after that, you're going to pour your glitter into the hole. Now, this was a struggle. This took me about 20 minutes for one cup, y'all. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Um, but you'll see eventually I tried different methods of getting the glitter in the cup, but um, I would suggest you not make your hole too big because you don't want it to leak. So I tried to keep the hole um, as small as possible, but big enough to get the glitter in. So yeah, I mean, I guess it's trial and error for everyone. I decided to do two cups, so I'm gonna do a pink one and a green one. And as you see here, I took some tape and basically placed it around um, the hole so the glitter wouldn't fall. And I do like this method a lot better. So here is the tumbler with only the glitter. I have yet added the liquids. Pretty cute. They look so much better in person. Oh my gosh, they are so gorgeous. Now we're taking our mixture of vegetable glycerin and water. I'm doing a half and half ratio and I'm basically eyeballing it. We're going to shake that together and fill our cup. Something about you and the way you move. I bet that's how they all try to hit you up. Bet you heard enough so now I slide true. Trying to play it real smooth with the moves. I ain't trying to get played like a fool, no. See you shoot them down like dominoes. Man, these dudes don't know when it's time to go. Let me show you a star boy when the lights dim low. Uh, yeah, get close, baby, get close. Get close, baby, get close. Sit back with a drink. I do suggest that as you're adding liquid, that you continuously shake the cup. That way, your glitter um, can be mixed thoroughly because I do notice that sometimes the glitter will clump together. Um, so I would suggest adding a little liquid, shaking it, adding more, shaking it, adding more until you get to the top. Got me speaking French cause I'm thinking about we. Baby leave your friends, you ain't gotta hurry and if you want we can always keep the shit low key. Here I'm just allowing the cups to sit for a little, um, allowing the air bubbles to kind of come to the top. You want to make sure that you fill it completely with liquid, you do not want to leave space. Um, so be careful with that because the glitter you will think is full and it's really not. So allow it to sit for just a few minutes to let some of the air bubbles come to the top. 
I'm taking alcohol and paper towels to wipe off the excess glycerin and water. Then you want to plug your holes with hot glue. You want to make sure that you plug it completely and you flatten the glue out as smooth as possible. Now we're taking our UV resin and I'm just going to place some right on top of the hot glue after it dries of course and we're going to cure it under the UV light. Um, I do this a couple times just to make sure everything is secure and cured. Um, after that I'm going to go over it again um, covering the bottom as you see here in the video. This just gives it an extra layer of protection. I love UV resin because you can use the cup the same day. You do not have to wait 24 hours like you would regular resin. Um, it cures right away under your heat lamp. Um, of course, like I said, I actually seal it a couple times just to be on the safe side. This step is completely optional. Um, but for me, I wanted to make a tumbler that kind of resembled the Starbucks coffee tumbler since they are so popular. Um, but I didn't want to get copywritten or, um, you know, use of license and blah, blah, blah. So I decided to make my own. I wanted something sarcastic, something that kind of meant like, shut up. I haven't had my coffee yet or, you know, something in that nature. And I found this little saying, and I was like, oh my gosh, that was so cute. It was so unique. I put together my own decal, and yeah, these will be on my website. I would really love if you guys could support and buy a cup. You can get them in any color. Yeah, I'll leave the link down below, as well as a discount code for you. We have reached the end of this video. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the comment section below. I respond back to each and every one of you. Yeah, don't forget to hit the like button. Very important. If you like this video, please support. Also, if you want a Tumblr, go ahead and go to purposefulprinting.com. Use code YouTube for free shipping. I love you guys. Bye.